Hi there, welcome back to Icewindale, I'm Baron, and we are outside of the cave where that Aurelite priestess Understood. is supposed to be in. So we go in here. Orders. But I guess what do you we want? first I'll we take it. only the melee fighters. Oh, listen! Ah, we already met the girl in the bar of Kaldahar. She was us the barmaid. This is my private retreat. I will thank you to leave me to my solitude. Who are you? Who I am is of is no concern of yours, but I suppose there's no harm in telling you my name is Luzen. What are you doing here? I am a single simple clergywoman who is on retreat. I came here seeking solace and a place to meditate. Are there not better places for a retreat than this cave? No, not really. My faith teach my faith teach that enlightenment can be achieved through adversity and hardship. This cave provides just such an environment. What faith do you follow? That is a private matter I choose not to discuss with strangers. I do not pry into your private affairs, so I will thank you not to pry into mine. Now if you are done with your question, I would appreciate being left to my devotions. <clears throat> I seek a priestess of Aurel, would that be you? Hmm, I am somewhat familiar with Aurel. The Frost Maiden is not very popular among most people. Uh, many worship her out of fear rather than love or devotion. But truly faithful are rare and secretive, to say the least. Why do you seek such a person? Let us end this game, Lucien. I recognize you as the barmaid from Kaldahar. What is the barmaid doing here unless she's more than she seems? I see. I wondered if you would recognize me since our meeting was so brief. Very well, let us drop the charade. I am Lucien, servant of all. You have found your priestess. Now state your business with me. I would first know the tenets of your faith. Aurel is the frost maiden, the cold breath of the north. She asks that her followers extinguish all flames and open structures to the cold and to embrace winter. Those are the basic per precepts of the faith. I will reveal nothing more to a non-believer. So tell me, why do you ask? Another told me of your faith. I needed to be sure I was not, he was not trying to deceive me. Oh, who dares to speak of Aurel? I would know who this person is. Cresselect, the spirit of the tomb here. He is worried about your intentions towards his resting place. Hmm. I know nothing of any spirit, but I am familiar with the tomb you speak of. It is an abomination in the eyes of the goddess. I intend to make it more pleasing to her tastes. While there is a spirit bound to that tomb, he does not wish to spend eternity in the cold and dark. I could care less what his spirit wants. He is dead, is he not? What do the dead care for, the, uh, care for light or dark, cold or warmth? They are beyond such mortal concerns. Um, what about the people of, people of Kaldahar, then? They are not dead, nor are they beyond mortal concerns. Would you deny them the warmth and protection of the Great Tree? Kaldahar, the Great Tree, and the Circle of Warmth are an abomination in the eyes of Aurel. Kaldahar shall embrace the wind and her name, or perish in the cold wastes. The will of Aurel shall be done. I cannot allow that to happen, Lizen. Oh, really? How sad. I shall have to kill you, then. Prepare to meet your fate, fool. So be it. Okay, so I'm listening. We're equipped. I'm ready. Okay. You have Medium my attention. So, since they're hasted and blessed and prayed Time and to stuff, turn this one down let's to size. get the hell in here. Ow! Ah, that sucks. For what do you need me now? So, yeah. You want me? Not funny. I, suppose I thought I'm by leaving them down here, they might. The shadows, um. Will be won. You know. Be free of the threat from the Yetis. But apparently not. Yes. But it doesn't matter because Luzan is dead now. To the butcher's work then. Uh. And my melee fighters can return. Deal with those Yetis quite quickly. Done. Thanks. So, I am your you switch back to bow and arrow. Ready. You switch to and sling. Willing. You're not that badly hurt. What? This one and is we mine. start killing those yetis now. To the butcher's work then. Oh, that was easy. And a lesser shadow appears. She is dead. And a curse has been lifted. We are free. We thank you. Ah, what curse? She cursed the whale and bid us to rise. We could not deny her. The 
calling. It was too strong. What calling are you talking about? I do not know. I cannot explain. We could not resist the calling. I must leave now. The land of the dead calls me home. Farewell. Very well. Farewell. And the spirit leaves and I say right. we loot the body of the dead priestess. Ah, oh, we get a morning star. Oh, let me guess, those crates are still empty. Yeah. Well, you could have refilled them. Okay. There go our buffing spells. So, I will return now to um, Crest Lake. Oh, but you don't have to watch me go there, so I will turn off the video and turn it back on once I'm standing in front of Crescent Lake. So hold on for a second. And here we are, back in front of Crescent Lake. You have returned. You have performed the task that I set before you? Yes, the priestess is dead. Yes, I no longer sense her presence. You have done well and I thank you. As a reward, you may take what you find in my sarcophagus. You said you would tell me who is responsible for the evil that plagues Kaldar. Yes, so I did. The truth of the matter is that I do not know who is responsible. I can only assure you that it is not I, nor is it anyone in this Vale. Were it to be otherwise, I would sense it. That is not the answer I was promised, spirit. Promised? I made you no promise, adventurer. As for your answer, knowing where your enemy is not is as vital as knowing where he is. Think upon that. Mm, very well, spirit. Farewell. So we got like, what? 13,000 XP? Awesome. What do we get here? Okay. Another potion of healing, a scimitar. What's that? Plate mail armor. It's the same as a regular plate. That's probably the same as a regular helmet. Okay. Can you identify that? No, you can't. Cradle of Miliki. A lesser known weapon historically only used by rangers serving Miliki, this plate was a very yum has a very humble and simple background. The cradle of Miliki was originally blessed by a triumvir triumvirate of druids who uh, for a ranger named Kel Pathwalker. Kel led a peaceful life, fending off the occasional orc or goblin who might wander into his lands. When he died of old age, the druids had no one to pass the blade on to. The oldest of them, Byman, held onto the scimitar but never used it in battle. When Byman and his, asso his associates left their grove for an extended period of time, the wandering a wandering mercenary robbed the hollow tree of its riches. He carried the scimitar north to the spine of the world where he died of exposure. Okay, it's a plus one weapon. Okay, it would be nice if we had like a druid or something. So then we had a large sword for him. And that here is a um, Kreslex sword. Kreslek the Bavarian king once wielded a sword to aid him in his conquest of the northern lands. It is not known, however, how he originally acquired the weapon. Most scholars believe Kreslek simply found the weapon in one of his many conquests. However, rumors do persist that the sword was the creation of some powerful wizard and was commissioned by Kreslek himself. The truth of the matter will never be known. It's a plus one uh, uh, great sword. And it has a plus 10 to cold resistance. Yeah, well, okay. But oh, I don't really need that. So, yeah. I guess that's all we can do here. You don't have anything else to say, don't you? You have done me a great service by removing the threat of the Auralite Priestess. For that, I am grateful. However, I would ask you to leave me to my rest now. There is nothing else that either of us can do for the other. Farewell. Farewell. So, I will return to um, Kaldahar now. You don't have to watch me go there. I will turn off the video. What's that here? 
The pool is filled with an unidentifiable green liquid. It emits an eerie glow. Okay, so I will return to Kaldahan now and turn the video back on once I'm there. So hold on for a second. And here we are back again in Kaldahar, right in front of the smithy. I'm going to sell the stuff that I found. I'm on it. Uh, first of all, the plate mail on the helmet. Then all that stuff that you're carrying. Seven thousand eight hundred. Awesome. Oh, there's still crest like salt. Do you have anything you can sell? No. And we have a few Yeti pills. So, 12,000. Very nice. So, um, yeah, I guess we're going to buy you a better weapon now. My little cleric is going to get... Can't afford the Tomb Sweeper yet. And I'm not good with flails, so... Boo. But I'm good with maces. The Love of Black Bass. This fell weapon was crafted by a beautiful and cruel wizardess who worshipped the Lady of Misfortune, Beshaba. Her name was Redani and she was known both for her powers as an enchanter and a seductress. The Love of Black Bass was always given to her favorite consort at any particular time. Unknown to her lovers, she would place a ring of readiness on the maze, saving a matching ring for a special time. When she retired of her consort, as she always did, she would give the matching ring to a new lover and send the young man out to kill her old paramour. The new lover would simply call upon the ring and then the mace would fly to his hand. Unfortunately, Red Dani was done in when she trusted the wrong man to kill her lover. Gurel of Chesenta, a well-disguised priest of Hoa, took it upon himself to gain vengeance for a man whose scully had picked up by the side of a road. Unluckily for Redani, priests of Hoa will go to any length to avenge the dead, even if it means animating half of her dead lovers to tear her limb from limb. So that's a 1d6 one plus, one plus 4 and it has a tackle plus 3. I don't know. Does that mean it's a plus 4 or a plus 3 weapon? Anyway, it's a good magical weapon. Uh, we still have a 10% hit to cause the target to lose 4 points of luck. Nobody actually needs that, I'm just buying that because it's a good magical weapon for our cleric no not this one uh, this one actually that is just the 1d6 plus 2 and plus 4 versus spiders I don't need want that I mean it's okay but I want a high magical weapon that it's good against everything like this one here. so so yeah take a look at it now she has a tackle of 11 and now she has a tackle of 9, as does the paladin. Have. So, I'm going to sell that one too. Fine, fine. Okay, that's one thing. Now we go. Well, first, we could go to the arch spirit and tell him that he was actually wrong to send us to the Vale of Shadows. Ooh. Get in here then. Done. Oh, you have returned. What news? Does the evil we seek lie within the Vale of Shadows? I have discovered that the undead in the Vale of Shadows were not connected to the disturbances in the past. <sighs> then the true source must lie elsewhere. I sense this evil has taken great care to conceal itself from prying eyes. I fear that by the time we discover it, it may be too late. And we get um, 10,350 XP out of that. Awesome. So, what are we to do? There may be a way to find that which does not wish to be found through magical means. However, to accomplish this, I will need your help. We are ready to help any way we can. Then here is what must be done. I need you to find an ancient druidic artifact known as the Heartstone Gem. It is a powerful scrying stone that can be used to divine the location of this evil. Long ago, 
The heartstone rested here, within this shrine. The druids of Kaldahar used its power to gain insight on the balance and to look into the affairs of men throughout the realms. Quite sneaky. Then, one day, an initiate of the shrine stole the heartstone and fled Kaldahar. The young druid had grown impatient with the humble teachings of his mentor, the archdruid, and hungered for power of his own. He disappeared into the mountains, along with the artifact, and was never heard from again. A few short years after the theft, there were rumors of a strange cult establishing a temple in these mountains. It is conceivable that the rogue druid may have been connected in some way with the emergence of this new cult. If so, then it is possible that the Heartstone Gem may still be found within this temple. The temple is rumored to lie in a canyon far to the east of Kaldahar. I have updated your map to help you find your way. Journey to the temple and discover if the Heartstone is indeed there. If so, return it to Kaldahar. And I shall use its power to find the answers we seek. Yes, our map surely is a nifty, uh, nifty piece of equipment. Very well, we shall do as you ask. And yeah, we leave again. <coughs> and there's another shop in here All that right. we can visit. Oh wait, I wanted to sell potions. Ah, dang it, I forgot. Agreed. Um, okay, so we can sell all the keys here. We don't need them anymore. Sadly, we can't sell the holy symbol of Mirkon. And he doesn't buy potions. But I guess he buys gems. Yeah, one gold piece only for that. Okay, then I will not sell it. Okay, and I guess we can buy the very useful bag of holding now. Very nice. You have my attention. Now we pay the wizard. A wizard? Done. Yep. Wait a second. Ready. Yes. Get in there, I forgot I'll something. It. Sorry. I'm on it. I have one more question. No. I still need to buy a few projectiles. Thank you. Done. And we go in here. Agreed. Done. So First of all, we sell our wands. We don't need really, don't really need them. And we have money again. Ain't that great? So now we buy a lot of spells. I know that I have Identify Magic Missile. And I have Identify, I'm sure of that. So. And Cat's Grace, Aganessa Scotcher, I already have that. Mirror Image, Web, very useful. Mav's Acid Arrow, Detect Invisibility, Chromatic Orb, Sleep, Shield, I already have it. Okay, Friends, and Color Spray. Uh, what was it? Uh, shield and Color Spray, is that true? Color spray and shield. Okay. 
I would rather take. Hmm, where is it? Um, didn't I buy a web? Oh, there it is. Two webs and a maps asset arrow. And haste, of course. Okay, uh, so I can sell those again. Or maybe not the healing stuff. But then again, yeah, why not? I have potions. Now protection for fire might be come in handy and aid. Silence. Oh, you have two of those actually. Oh well, sell it. Okay, now we have 11,000. Uh, do you have anything nice I could use? What's that here? Girdle of Gond. Gond, god of invention and artifice, is a deity rarely worshipped by traditional adventurers. Some thieves have a revere Gond for his role in the development of locks, traps and other complex machines. One such thief was the burglar Jomar the Calm who began his career as a locksmith. Known for his cool demeanor and steady hand, Joma paid priests of Gond to fashion this tool belt for him. Whenever Joma was stuck in a situation where he didn't have the right tool for a job, one of the small pouches on the belt would supply him with what he needed. Plus 10 to open locks, plus 5 to find and remove traps. Yes, why not? Buy it. Um, okay. Let's start here. Well, that's nice too, isn't it? Um, no, I can't afford that. So, where is it? Who bought it? You bought it, probably. So, I still got a few potions to sell. What? Um, where's the exit? I'm on it. So, we have to go to the All potion right. man. And then we... Oh, wait a second. Um, before we do that, we go to the inn. Because I will drop uh, the holy symbol of Mirko. Are you coming? Yes. Hello. No. Try again. All right. Ready. I'm on it. So since I don't really know whether we will need um, that symbol again, I'm going to put it next to the ring, Here. to Aiden's legacy ring, and we get out again. Done. And now we go to the potion guy. I'll handle it. So, oh yeah, Goldmund will reach the next level in 265 experience points. Very nice. And then comes Storm, and then uh, Tolpan, and then Zaldana. You're coming? Yes. Got it. So, um, where's the potions? 
Uh, I can sell that, I can sell that, I can sell those. Uh, genius stays, fire resistance, freedom stays, infravision goes away. A uh, potion of action transference, potion of strength goes away. Uh, insulation stays, regeneration goes, mummy's tea stays, potion of insight goes away, and stone form goes too. Oh, that's enough actually to buy that rope. Awesome. Okay, so I will pause the video <coughs> and we will return once we've reached the mage. And here we are back at the I mage. Might. So, yeah, well, buy the rope for her. Let's see what it does. Does it lower the armor class? Yeah, it does lower the armor class. And I guess now we have an additional level 1 spell. Yes. Oh, but then again, maybe instead of that we could use... Yeah, yeah, okay. Take the magic missile. I thought about using a shield or armor spell, but then again, she's not going to enter combat. So, I guess the magic missile is okay. And we can sell that one. He doesn't buy it? Why doesn't he buy it? It's a mage rope. Fine. Let's see who buys that. Truth be told, I don't care who buys it. The, since Garth doesn't buy it too, then Agreed. probably the weaponsmith would buy it. But I'm not going to sell it now. We can sell it later. It doesn't make a difference. We go to that temple now. Temple of the Forgotten God. It's like 40 hours away. Okay, I guess we should rest now. Got it. What is that? <laughs> These uh, towering stone statues all bear the likeness of the same stern faced figure. Move out of the way! Whoa, hold on a second. I have a few questions for you. Red Toe has no time to speak with puny peoples. Hulk smash puny humans. Must run away. Uh, run away from what? Red Toe running from holy place. He runs so he no die like others. And what others? What are you talking about? Others. Inside holy place. Red Toe not go back there. Not safe for Verbeek anymore. Um, holy place? You mean that temple over yonder? Yes. Red Toe was called for friend priests in holy place. But then bad priests come. Begin killing friend priests and other Verbeek guards with hurtful magic. But Red Toe's not. He falls on ground and makes bad priests. Bad priest thinks he's dead. When they gone, Red Toe gets up and runs from Holy Place. Uh, pretty smart for Verbeek. Off you go then, but don't let me catch you anywhere near Kaldahar. Okay, so yeah. Four of those statues. Maybe we can go in here. I'll handle it. Defilers! Again you profane this temple with your murderous presence! Calm yourself, friend. We mean you no harm. We've come from the beleaguered town of Kaldahar on a mission of great importance. Silence! Think you that the children of the Forgotten God are fools enough to be deceived by such lies twice in one day? Now you shall pay for your trespasses. Guards! Guards! The intruders have returned! No shit. Okay. You have my attention. So, well. Ready and waiting. I say we kill this one. Yes. This ends now. Silence. The thief and the cleric are silenced. That's not that bad, Agreed. actually. Okay. Do we get anything useful from you? Oh wait. What's that? That's a verbeek. I say we attack it. Okay, skip it. What? Um. Ready. Ding. And dong. Wait, what are you doing here? Hmm. Oh, you are attacking. Okay. Thanks. Here. Now we kill you.
Okay, so I was looting before I was rudely interrupted and got more danger level. What is that here? This statue is of a robed figure sitting cross-legged as if it poised in meditation. Its features are the same as the statues outside. Okay. So you should level. Probably get more spells. Yes. Maybe a dispel magic. That can never hurt. Orders. Moving on. Oh, wait a second, it's late, so I guess we have to take a break soon. Oh, maybe not. No time like the present. So, well, thank you very much for watching, and see you soon. Bye!